All right, guys, so this week has been crazy. I bought more Lego than I should have. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I got. So it might not seem like uh, there's a lot of things, but this, all the figures in this box, plus this set here alone, cost a total of $535, Singapore dollars. So in USD, it's probably 480 or 470 uh, You have to do the calculations yourself if you stay in the US. So most of the figures are Star Wars and just a few Marvel superhero figures. And this one actually I got quite a good deal on this. It cost me 25 Singapore dollars, which is maybe 20 US dollars. And it's sealed, but the seals are sort of coming off because it's old, but it is unopened. So it's a pretty good deal. You can see that the original price was like $44 and then it was reduced to 26 and I got it for 25 So yeah good deal on this i think it's going for around 60 or 70 dollars sealed now this box alone i think it's a 99 percent star wars figures and one marvel figure and even the marvel figure is that's a quite valuable and a rare figure so i'm going to be showing you what i got in this whole box so to start things off we have two of the hondos onaka and this figure are starting to get more rare especially with i think there's a new Star Wars sort of a pirate show coming up in the next few years. I foresee this figure will increase in value a lot. Right now, I think it's going for $50. Yeah, so two of this. And we got a Deadpool. Oh, okay, so actually I think I have two Marvel figures. This is one of it and this is not the rare one which I mentioned. But yeah, this Deadpool have increased in price a lot. I remember selling it for $14 but I just rebought re this at like $40. So yeah. We have a uh, Etorian Jedi. And all these figures are in as, as good as new condition. We have oh got a pretty got a pretty good deal on this one. This is the Jedi Knight. So I think I, I bought these two as a bundle and it costs 100 Singapore dollars, which is around 80 US dollars. So yeah, very good deal on this two. And we have a Commander Wolf. It's quite a good deal also. I think I got it at 70 Singapore dollars. And it, it was a bundle with the, all this these three figures. It's a bundle together. I got it from overseas uh, on Brickling. I think it's it cost me a total of 150 Singapore dollars. And here we have a bag of the Kashyyyk troopers. I think there's a total of one, two, three, four, eight. Or even more, it looks like there's more than eight. Yeah. And we got a lot of the Genosian, Genosian troopers. I think I have eight. Let's see. Yep, I have eight of those. So I think it's two battle packs. And this is two battle packs also. And next we have oh yes, okay. This is the other Marvel figure which is quite rare. And it's Ronan. Okay, so this alone, I think it cost, on Bricklink, I think it cost like $70 onwards. We have the Han Solo from the shuttle, which I forgot the name. We have the 212. Uh, it looks a bit yellowish. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the lighting. Okay. We have the maze window. I think this is from the Republic fighter tank, not sure. We have Admiral Redis. We have Padme. I think this is from the gunship. This is also from the gunship. This is the clone, yellow clone commander. We have just a fin here. I think this figure is pretty much worthless. Maybe like four dollars or even lesser. And yeah, that's lastly we have base Malbus and his gun. This isn't worth that much or so, but I, I got all this at quite a pretty decent deal. So all this for five hundred and thirty five Singapore dollars, I think it's quite a good deal. Judging there's a lot of very rare figures inside here. So yeah. I think I spent a bit too much this week. But yeah, if you like this kind of videos, this kind of hauls, give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.